Hey folks, how's it going? We're Matt here and welcome back to the episode of Cards and Castles Ranked with Red, where today we're in the February season, yes, and I know this is probably like the third time in a row from this series that I'm bringing the Nature's Necromancy deck back. I promise we'll have a, another Ranked with Red uh, sometime in the future that should showcase a different deck so you guys aren't seeing the same matches over and over. But uh, regardless, we do have some great games lined up for you today. Of course, like we already mentioned, Nature's Necromancy on deck. Uh, it performed well last season. Let's see if it can follow suit for this month as well. And uh, yeah, I think without, further, without any further ado, English, uh, let's go ahead and jump right in to game number one. All right, folks, and game number one underway with a bit of a rough start. I'm going to be completely honest. I mean, you got the... Ooh, Okay, well, this might be... Uh, ooh, okay. Um, well, Rat King changes things. That's for sure. I guess we're just passing again because we really can't put any pressure on the board. I'm surprised that our opponent can't either, but I guess we're on the same strategy. Uh, anyway, Rat King time, baby. Let's get him out. Let's get him going. Hoo-ha. Let's see what happens here. I mean, we can pull off a Mystic Journey turn two, which would be pretty good in the early game. There's the Smith. All right, looking good, looking good, boss man. Uh, that's fine with me. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the Journey. I should be careful about where we end up playing this. Uh, hmm. My fear is that Chain is going to be in the hand here, so he probably shouldn't be too close. Kind of create some threats all around here. We'll give him this little Chain here. Uh, he could also have a Rat King of his own, which would do some things, but it's just Blacksmith, so it wouldn't be like them overpowering our units. It'd just be simple trading at that point. And yeah, Blacksmith opening up the line here for probably the Rat King to come out. Yeah, there it is. And that is completely fine. Uh, Rat King, not a big deal. Oh, it has the journey too, doesn't he? Just like us. That would suck. There's not much we can do about it. Yep, there it is. Oh. Uh, uh oh. I don't think that was the right play, boss man. Okay, so, ooh, interesting. Rat King out in the open. Um, oh, there are some directions we can take this. Uh, the question is, is it just a better idea to clean up the board right now? It might be. Just going to pop some things in here. I know it's not the best to lose our two rats to the Rat King, but... We are on the same strategy, it looks like, here. So let's try to get some control of the board. Mitigate the power of perhaps a round two Rat King Mystic Journey here. Very well, simply could have been a misclick on that part. It looks like he was lining up for a, you know, very hot Mystic Journey. But unfortunately, hit the mark of the fist instead, maybe. I'm not sure. Anyways, continuing on here. Sars is going to do some things. That's fine. Uh, I guess we can do this. This seems correct. The Drake is a nice pull there. Helps us get the armory out easier with some additional presence on the board. Uh, Saurus is not the best pull for Matty, have to admit. Um, we'll see what he can do with it. He can chip a lot off the Drake, but is there really enough to kill it? Oh, might be. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be with the Onslaught. But we're not going to engage with the Drake, it looks like. So we'll get to keep this for another turn or so. Do some things with it. That's fine. Thief following up too. Okay, he is making a play here for the armory. He recognizes the threat it provides. And so he does want to get rid of it. I'm not surprised by this. I say in that case, let's just go ahead and do something a little bit better. Uh, we'll go with the Dragon Knight, set this up here. 
I don't think we've seen coin yet. Yeah, about this point, what's the difference? Let's go ahead and throw that there. Freezing Pillar, get this nice potential value for our Lightning Blade in hand here. Uh, we'll see what he's got as a response, though. Could have some things up his sleeve, but let's go ahead and see. Banshee, looks like he's going to pop the Pillar. Yep, makes sense. Has to move the Maddie. Actually, can he move the Maddie? I don't think he can. Maddie's stuck in the chain, regardless of where he goes. That's pretty nice for us. Uh, and a pass turn on that. Well, that is, of course, our sign to go for the L blade here. So we will take it. Value up the wazoo. Completely clearing house here. Taking additional damage uh, where we can. Let's move the Dragon Knight over here. I guess let's also do a Rampage play on the Drake here. Now, this is to potentially mitigate the chain setup that we're giving our opponent, being in the Vikings. Um, he could easily have something like his own Lightning Blade with a unit here. Take out a good hunk of our things. But now this is going to force him to lose that value off the chain. Force him to interact a bit more awkwardly than he would like to. Uh, but also could have some nice responses. Again... Shouldn't discount the RK Mystic off the top here, and that might be it, actually. Is that it? Is that the RK Mystic? There is the RK. The question is, is there the journey? Yep, looks like it. There is the journey for follow-up here. We do have a potential for a second journey as well, so we should be on the lookout for that. Uh, oh, Pillar. Okay, Pillar makes sense here i guess that's actually really awkward oh hell man that's really awkward um oh man he has to do it like that really that's gross okay um I could put some more damage on the board here. We're going to clear the pillar first and foremost. I guess we'll pop this rat as well. I guess we'll just go for a Mordok play as well. Seems right, I guess. We take out the uh, another Rat King. We pop a Freezing Pillar. Again, forcing him to interact with our board in more awkward ways here now that he's running down on resources. And we have also a great follow-up to continue in this game here. The Shaman, the Yenaroth. Um, well, I guess more, more so the Yenaroth than the Shaman. The Shaman can, of course, cycle us, so it's not a whole issue. We'll see if Yenaroth's in our future, though. I have a feeling it might be. Yeah, there it is. A bit of an awkward spot, though. Because, like, what's, you, what, what's your uh, main goal there? Anyway. Shaman, get the draw going. Reanimate is fun. I gotta be careful here not to give him too much off of this here. I'll just pass. I don't want to Yenaroth uh, because I want my units to be unfrozen. Force him again to keep interacting with my board here. Mark of the Fist, so getting some draw, that's fine. Kind of like a mini arm now if he's got chain potential. Uh, well, there's the chain potential, but his rats are all frozen, so really only working with the Yenaroth. And Yenaroth is just a little awkward here on its own. He can do a push, which is fine. Horseman's good. He needs something to clear out the rat, though, in the back. Anything on that front, boss? Hooks, not gonna be enough. Does kill the Dragon Knight. Fair, fair. That's gonna be it. Uh, that does give us a little more value here, though, out of our reanimates. Let's go ahead, pop into that. Pop into that. Let's go for... Actually, let's go ahead and clear 
one of these rats off with the shaman. Just if we do get a horseman, it's less likely that that's going to connect. Uh, the peasants are all 3-3, so it can't really trade up here. So I guess we'll just go for the reanimate. Pops one rat. Ah. Not enough. Alright, well we can hit into here, force him to be on the one turn, or like the very end of his lifespan here. Uh, I guess we'll place you back here. I don't know where I'm going to put these things. Uh, we'll put the rally up as well, just to assert more board dominance. Uh, that'll go here, I guess. And we'll just pass it back. Also trying to cut off some more RK Mystic spots here, although he only has one RK left in deck, I believe. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else he can really do here. There's a peasant tray. That's fine. Maddie coming down. Sure. Gets the pyromancer out. I mean, at this point, it's also not looking good for him because we do follow up just next turn. If there's any sort of big threat, we just Yenneroth freeze, wipe the board, uh, and he can't really do much unless he pulls a heal out of somewhere. What that somewhere is, I have no idea, but we'll see. Pirates trading into the Shaman. Do we ever reanimate for one of those uh, Skeletal Pirates? Uh, looks like we do not. Oh, I forgot he had the Bulwark. Oh, that's a little more annoying. Oh, it doesn't matter. There's the Centaur. And for game number one, folks, we do walk away with the victory. Very nice. Uh, a little shaky uh, with that racking Mystic Journey hit, but able to power through it into the win. Very nice to see. Let's go ahead and get into game number two. All right, and game number two underway as we have a bit of a rough start here with the Beastmaster Temple. A lot of our mid-game stuff in the opener. I'm going to see if we can just cycle away a couple of these. Maybe should have kept on to the reanimate. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this is going to be a match, so I'll be for sure. Uh, going up against red-yellow in these colors is not something that's too great, especially with this specific hand. I feel like our black might be an instant burn target when it hits the board here since we're not putting at literally anything in these opening turns here but we'll see we'll see what our opponent's got for us obviously it's a bit harsh to kind of just put every deck on the same uh you know unga bunga burn strategy uh it is powerful but there are people who kind of mix it up so i gotta give credit where credit's due on that the question is will this guy follow suit here will he oh 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 all right okay a little questing action a little questing action i see you um no oh, yikes i uh, i don't necessarily want to play anything per se because i want the coin into the dragon knight so to waste it would be kind of pretty bad actually mm, You know what, let's, let's assert with the blacksmith. Let's get him going here. Uh, I do have freezing pillar to freeze it off. If we do lose the blacksmith, we can just block off a spawn temporarily for the pillar. It would suck, but to prevent ourselves from taking more and more damage here. We do have to kind of get something going though. Especially against these colors here. If it is going to be maybe more of a rush type thing, then we do want to get some kind of board presence established early. Questing taking the shot. Books following suit. Not the worst. Uh, that is not something we want to see, though. I mean, we got to hold true with the strategy here. We were going to go with the freeze regardless, so. We'll pop Pillar. Pillar's going to do some things here to defend us. We can even get maybe a uh, nice little Dragon Knight out here along with the Blacksmith. We'll see if he allows us to keep that, though. I have a feeling he could burn off the Pillar um, as sort of, like, the way he can free his Knight. Uh, which wouldn't bother me. We're just using it for this one turn. That's really the maximum value we're looking to get out of this card here. Uh, okay. Following up here. Alright, not bad. Not the worst. Not the worst. Hmm. It's a bit weird, though. Hmm. I guess I should kind of go for it. Yeah, we're not in Dragon's Fire territory, so we can kind of get away with this. I'm kind of leaving my pillar open. It's not 
a huge deal. He wants to pop it for me. Uh, I'm trying to conserve units now to get rid of this white knight, which could prove problematic. And then, yeah, he goes right after the uh, pillar like I needed it. That's fine. And then, yeah, there's a there's a flame shield buff for it. I had to be expecting some kind of lifesteal. Oh, okay. Just a big fat middle finger to my things then. All right. Well, this is where we... Uh... I'd say this is where we could cry, but I mean, nabbing, nabbing this is not too bad. Um, hmm. I guess I pop into this. It's just going to give him. Mm. Yeah, it's not great. I don't really achieve anything with this. Yeah, kind of stinky, but we do... We need to kind of defend ourselves a little bit here. Uh, I feel like when this this one might be lost, uh, unfortunately. Like, we've just allowed too much of this white knight to get in our face here. And we've opened pretty piss poor, if we're being honest here. Jesus, man. Demonic rage? Chill, dog. Alright. Um... Actually, does that help us out in any way? Well, I'm going to put all the forces in here. Because there's not like as much I can do. So, subtract, 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 subtract. There we go. Okay, so we can clear the White Knight. Oh, shit. We are not looking good for the rest of this game, though. An Arbiter, we die. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean... I cleared the big white threat thanks to all those little buffs, but oh god, am I gonna am I gonna be alive for what's to come? I have no idea. Um God damn. Let's just go ahead and do this then. is kind of our sort of block against the fear here so we'll see if this works i mean if he's got a fear he's got a fear there's nothing i can do uh nope okay craxis hi lunk lightning blade could be pretty funny here can i get one no i get a mordok uh, i got a mordok i mean i could try to draw for it Oh, blade journey. No, not what we're looking for either, to be honest. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess we'll just go with a Mordok setup for now. Uh, we'll move this down here. This is fine. I'll leave you where you are. I'll just invite him in for the arbiters. I don't care at this point. Just get just get me out of this game. It's not looking too hot. All right, flame shield again. Yep, sure. Sure. Could probably armory next turn, right? Armory could be pretty cool. Let's see where this goes here. So a bunch of smaller units. Uh, okay. That's interesting um we do kind of have to pop this cracks this unfortunate it's gonna give him a lot of value but there's not really a world where we can afford to just pass it back with that cracks on board just hope we can get the wraith no we do not we do not get the wraith all right well Give him the cards. You know the drill. And get a heal. Oh, we'll get healing. That's not bad, actually. That's very good for us. Uh, we'll run this away because we don't want it to die just yet. Put the Dragon Knight here. I guess we'll run... Actually, should I just... No, because if he had it, he would have used it. Yeah, you know what? I'm freaked out. I'm freaked out. I'm freaked out. We're just going to do that. We're just going to pass. 
Uh, maybe not the best choice here, but I'm freaked out about the Arbiters at this late in the game. Especially after I gave him, like, what, four cards off the Craxis? That bastard got big! Alright, Shaman. Some more draw. Cycling here. That's fine. That's all good, brother. Furnace Knight's getting real close. Uncomfortably close. I mean, I guess we might just go for another Mordok play next turn. I don't really see what else we should do. Yeah, boink. I got boinked. All right. Uh. Yep, yeah, Mordok is the play here. See if I can bounce off of this. It's another Banshee. Uh, you know, what? let's put it into the. Let's do that. Can hibernate something if we wanted to, although I don't think that's what we want to do. Uh, we should heal this. That's a big priority here with the remaining heal. We'll pop into that. We'll journey, pop the frog prince, come smack this round to pass on that, I guess. I mean, we're making moves, people. We're making moves. And it's just gonna be crushed like next turn potentially. Oh shit, swordsman. That's that is pretty big. Doesn't kill the Mordok though. He needs some kind of like additional burn. Or the lumberjack. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just forgot lumberjack is there too. Whoopsies. Alright, another another banshee. That's the third one this game. Thank you, boss. Appreciate you. Oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, I do have to start laying in damage, though. Ooh. Ooh. That could be pretty big. Let's get the centaur number one into face here. That's great. Let's pop. Let's pop. I guess we'll kind of put a little defense on the board as well. You know what? Feeling pretty ballsy. I might just end up hibernating the flying books so it can't affect the board. I mean, it's freeze, right? It's freeze. So this is pretty good. Arbiters could do something here, but maybe if we can put enough damage on the board, it might counteract it. Mordok, okay, well, that's a trade. And then Banshee, yeah, another trade. At the risk I played running Rat King up, I don't, I think that's fine. It is what it is. Priest, sure, 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 sure. Uh, ooh. Can I make any use of that reanimate this turn? I don't think I can. Uh, I think in a world we're always going shaman first. Uh, shaman at the temples. That's fine. Uh, let's go. Oh, shit. Uh... Do I just shockwave the... Pr I think I do. Shockwave. Books doesn't move because it's funny. Uh, and I guess just keep popping into face here. Books might as well trade with that. So we can put the blacksmith up here to get him doing a bit more. We still have some turns off the draw here, but I'm not feeling very good about this game. It might just slip away from us because of that early interaction the white knight and the demonic rage combo we just weren't able to stop it initially and so we took a lot of damage for it i don't think there's a way that we can really recover unless he's bricking hard here and maybe not getting what he wants to see armory okay it's not a big chonker unit that's cool he has to get rid of either the centaur or the okay or both blue fireball uh cleric Okay, not a very use, good use of the cleric. Gonna be quite honest with you, boss. Uh, pillar, beast. Ooh, beast is huge value. Beast is nutty value here. 
Oh, and of course, I don't get any horsemen to help. Oh, my lord. Game, come on. You can't do that to me. Ugh. That's fucking nasty. All right. Well, I guess in a world we're always doing this, right? I guess we can keep the blacks up there. He's not got any buffs here. We can... We can put, uh, I want to throw the wraith up here, but we don't, we didn't have the positioning of it. We got cucked on the spawn. Uh. And if I can maybe sack the banshees away through some means, we can potentially pull in some more healing. That'd be pretty funny. Unlikely, but funny. Uh, white knight. Sure. Another bungus. He should connect with the rat here, in all honesty. Oh. Stormstrike. I... Uh... I forgot he had had that in the game? Question mark? Uh-oh. Doesn't kill us, but... God, died goddamn close to. I mean, if it steals away the game, it steals away the game. There's not much I can say about it. Uh, okay. So, what what are we doing here? What What is the main course of action? I mean, I gotta pull a heal from this, right? I don't think there's any other way I can get around it. Heal? Question mark? It's gonna heal his castle, but can we pull a heal? No, we pull a vanish. Aww. Well, uh, I don't think that's going to lead us into winning the game here. Uh, I can temple. We could do a little bit here. We can bop you around. A little zappity zappity. That's all cool. Oh, we could do another. Ba okay. Banshee question mark. Help, please. No, that's literally not what I need you to do. Oh, I mean, I could do this, but yeah. Damn. That's the end of the game. A bit of a close one here, but yeah, that that damage, man. That early White Knight damage absolutely killed us. Ah, unfortunate, but we put up a good fight. I thought I was going to be out of the game much earlier than I was, so glad to say that we did get some more time in. Anyway, rough one for sure. Let's hop into game three and see if we can recover, get ourselves back on the right foot. All right, and game number three, looking off to a much better start than game two. A lot of our early game in the opener, Rat King, Drake, Reanimate, the sink by the sinking image fantastic love to see oh god i don't need a second one anyways uh going up against ninja druid here i uh, haven't seen this deck in a hot minute so excited to see what it can bring to the table uh i'm gonna go ahead and start with faithful drake seems like the correct play to make and so far we should be all right i think uh there is the manticore all right interesting did not expect to see that, but that is fine. I think I might go ahead and... I might just Rat King here, honestly. The reason we're going for Rat King is that I think if he decides to get a little aggressive with the Mana Core or throw something else to block, we can get a cheeky Rat King plus Drake Reanimate off. Uh, because the upkeep will take us to two, meddle into the three for Reanimate, and get us some decently sized bodies, hopefully, and then follow up with things like Armory. Uh, that's the plan, though. So we'll see if he kind of walks into it or if he has something else for us. Uh, the Rat King is a pretty generic play, so it should be pretty open to interpretation on what he can decide to do here. Uh, but I'm hoping that he gets, a, he gets a little aggressive with this. Or throws out something equally as powerful that we can just pop our... Uh, oh, no. Okay. Uh, hello, sir? Wait a minute. Uh, sir? I beg your pardon? Uh... <laughs> needless to say, it's not how I expected the turn to go. Well, I mean, that's something... Um, rat. All right, well, there's the boy. Uh, 
I guess I can... Uh, is it worth it just put out the reanimate here for one? I don't feel like it is. Yeah, no, I don't feel like it's worth the rampage. I think we should just do this. And then pop. Oh, I can't from the behind. I forgot. Uh, oh God, I've had too much other games in the head that that mistake would come through now. Okay, no big deal. Let's just go ahead and move some rats into position here. Let's kind of get a little aggressive. Force him to kind of take a detour here. He does keep the mana core, which is probably going to trade into the Drake. Soldier can probably do some shenanigans. We do have another Rat King for recovery, so it's not too bad i probably should have just gone with the reanimated for one instead of getting weird with that rampage play oh hi koru why are you here oh mm. all right honestly a bit of a weird choice here to not protect the koru from the first trade but sure more power to you man more power to you uh-huh. All right. Well, we're not completely dead. I think we're going to go temple here. Temple seems like a bit more value for us in this uh, scenario. Pop in the soldier. Kill that off. Uh, the Koru is at three health, I believe. Yeah, and he's down there for some reason. So I'll probably hit into that rat closer to castle. Unless there's a fucking OTK I don't know about coming. Okay, sure. Whoa, okay, hello. Alright, so that's... So... Man, hold on. So you're you're telling me that we're running Koru, Koru shenanigans here. Jeez, alright. Well, I'm under no obligation to actually play into anything so i'm just gonna armory pass i'm under no obligation to give him any sort of uh koru value here so yeah pop the castle you can get rampage on the temple sure oh you smug bastard that's stupid all right, well, I mean, again, not the end of the world. That's a blow for sure. Damn, that's actually really dumb. And the Vanishing Strike to kind of protect the Koru as well. Damn, man, man. All right, well, that's actually somewhat okay for us. So we're doing another Rat King here. Seems stinky, yes. But, on the other side, we get coin into two more Banshees. Game, what the? <clears throat> Man, I'm just going to pull nothing but straight Banshees out of these uh, reanimates, aren't I? That's so dumb. <laughs> I don't need that where all right whatever whatever it's fine i don't care we'll have to work with what we got it's a bit of a shame but just like couldn't give me a horseman or anything to like pop some damage in like man all right i guess i'll kind of threaten mordok a little bit I mean, it doesn't really matter if he kills it off. We can just freeze with the Yeneroth. It's no big deal. And hell, if he actually uses more spells, uh, that's better for us. Uh, okay, Beast of Rage again on this ugly mofo. All right. So basically, this is just a bunch of Koru stuff. And then you want to pop into Mordok? Sure, fine by me. sort of put himself in a predicament here oh or okay he's gonna do that forbidden the scroll lovely lovely pull lovely that's annoying oh, man we are getting all sorts of robbed today jeez man 
This is what happens when I can't find a match earlier in the week, and now I get matches on, what is today, Tuesday? Wednesday? It's, it's not good. All right, goes for the... Okay. I guess he wants to kind of protect that, but again, that's fine with me. Uh, I'm tempted to kind of just do this. Yeah, I'm tempted to just Yenaroth here, and the reason we're going for Yenaroth is just because I... What, what else in his strategy is protecting... Or, like, I can't speak. His whole strategy revolves around the Koru. If this thing is neutralized, his game is over, unfortunately. And that's just the hard truth. So if we can kill it, that'll basically just secure us the win here. Which we can. We can secure the win here because of this. Uh, I don't care about losing the Yenaroth. I think taking out his main win condition is just too valuable not to do. Uh, Merchant's Favor will take that. We can even just... Ooh, hold on. Before I'm dumb. Before I'm dumb. Let's do this. Before I'm dumb. Yeah, and there's a surrender. Alright. Game number three back on track against the weird Koru Voltron strategy here. Thankfully, we got around it. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say about that matchup. It just kind of went straight forward. We were looking at a bit of trouble there, just based on that, you know, the global removal that we had. But, no, we recovered quite well, which is fantastic. And we can move on to game number four. All right, and match number four underway. Again, not like in the opener here with the uh, rallies and the, what you call, oh, uh, all right, this is gonna be a game. And we're starting that game off with lumber trading, it looks like. I mean, who doesn't love lumber trading to start things off here? It's nice, it's relaxing, it doesn't require me to think. It's lovely. So, we're gonna do it or do we have a combat trick to protect no there we go there we go lumbers make the trade draw lightning blade could have used you two games ago and thrown all right so bounce we thankfully have a strong matchup i would say against bounce um our centaurs our companions able to kind of pick off any of the important bounce targets that are wanting to be kept safe there is the southport captain which is sure more power to you my guy um am i afraid of lightning blading here i don't think i am actually no i'm not because what's the captain gonna do poke me for two end up trading like i don't think the captain's doing a whole lot okay he dances at first and then replays it so still not even strong enough to actually pop the drake which is fantastic for us oh you punk all right well that's uh unfortunate i mean expected but not yeah still not great anyways uh dragon knight well john i keep drawing here we have a couple of Oh, the same cards here. Knight, Smith, Knight, Smith. So, I mean, I can see my game plan for the next three turns. The question is, will he get a lot of bounce off here? Uh, Shadow Dancing the Robins. All right. Big ramp. Big ramp potential from our opponent there. That is fine. Uh, I think what I should do here, as painful as it might be to watch... I'm gonna just go into we just pop the big win condition that is throne of the emperor right i'm not super worried about him having a big robins it well it's what else is in the hand that concerns me here so far this game has just been all ramp all ramp no payoff okay sume sume is fine okay two sumes Okay, so the proper word is annoying. Uh, there's no point in kind of risking either of them right now, so I guess I'm just going to play the two blacksmiths and pass. There's no point risking it too much right now. 
I want to see what he moves, how he moves, what he summons for the following turn. We're in no rush, I think, especially since we did take out the major component, which was the throne here. And we do have a Yeneroth on deck as well. Although it wouldn't hurt for us to kind of get rid of some of these other options. Panda! Okay, gave me the Dragon Knight back, but popped back the Faithful, which is a pain in the ass. Okay. All right. Setting up a lot of bounce stuff here. Ooh. Uh. Okay, we can get a little sneaky here. Or can we? Hold on. Wait. Eh, maybe not. Uh, this is awkward. I mean, he's throwing everything out on the table here. We can pop his stuff. We can win it. I guess I maybe should have saved that journey. Uh, this, I think, is still okay. We clear off one of the big bounce targets here, and he's probably going to do some form of trading. I don't think that's the worst. Yeah, Night Pop, I understand that. Probably Sume come down, see what he can bounce, right? Yeah. The literal worst target for him to bounce. That is more than okay. We'll probably see a guard trade with the Drake as well. No, Master Thief. All right, so we're going to ping the castle. That's fine. We still achieved a big, big blow, which was the... Uh... Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah, again, I'm in no rush. If he wants to do something, then more power to you. This should not reach, right? Yeah. I guess I'll put this Drake down here to make room for the Yenaroth. Yeah, that's fine. See if I can come up, hit for three, but that'd risk him dying. Okay, Witcher's got absolutely no fear fantastic i don't know what that was meant to do but it accomplished something it accomplished a board state i guess all right more guards more movement i respect that i see it all righty um i don't really want to do anything yet though i guess in a world we have to do this right it's just a literal free trade I guess we can get a little more aggressive with our drakes as well. We do have the pillar for more play, but... He really just kind of went all in and said, Yeah, here's my entire bounce lineup. If you kill it, you win. Alright, you monkey man. That is the thing I did not want you to bad destroy with that. But sure, because we're playing... We're, we're on that type of energy tonight. We're on that type of energy where... Monkey moves get me punished, and literally everything goes wrong. Like that—that that is the game that I'm playing. Oh man! 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 Oh, that is not the card I want to see. To be honest, that is just not the card I want to see. Well, I mean, I guess in in a in some type of world. It's worth making this type of push here. Because now this really screws everything up for him. It's a giant body that potentially threatens his bounce. Bridge troll was good. Oh, that was the best thing for me to draw, actually. Rampage. Yeah, and he knows it's going to be over here. Pop that, hitting into that, uh, popping into this, put that back there, pillar this off, and then, yeah, we'll throw, we'll throw out the respect here, folks. That is going to end off the game. Ooh, a bit of an interesting one here, but sir, that is what happens when you put all of your chips onto the table. 
Lightning attack on the panda, not going to do it. We'll just go ahead and end the game here. Uh, no need to prolong anything out. Big Yenneroth for the big cleanup for game number four. Fantastic stuff. And uh, with that momentum, we'll carry that straight into game number five. All right, folks, and we are on to our last game, number five, and uh, this is going to be a bit of a rough one. Uh, I'm looking at the colors, and I think this is going to be our aggro strategy for the day here, our, you know, bum ooga booga rush that we have to face. So let's hopefully clean it up. Let's make some good things happen, and uh, we'll see what we can do from there. Lumberjack to open, my friend. That is okay. I am simply going to put the Drake out. And not give you the value. If you want to hit into it, be my guest. Alright, there is the Primordial Flame. Looking, looking meaty. As one does when you are the Primordial Flame. Alright, and pulling the cards we do not want. Fantastic stuff. Ah, uh, lord. Yeah, that is, that is just not what we're looking for in the slightest damn all right we'll give him a card here we'll let the ooga booga man come in drawing two mordocks man that's gonna hurt your chances it really is i can't even all right well let's go ahead yeah it's gonna be the stupid three three not much else i can do and centaur yeah that is that is not i'm looking for beastmaster out of all things here and the reason why we want beastmaster at this point it should do a good job of just cleaning up this primordial flame without any sort of trouble i'll keep the drake out of harm's way for now there's really no po i can't pillar the flame that's the worst part it'll just burn off the pillar and continue on its day so yeah not not good for us not good for us in the slightest Beastmaster, please let's levitate into my hand. No, that is not the Beastmaster. Well. Yeah, it's not looking great. I can't even hit into the Master because it'll just buff the flame too. This just might be a huge L on the fact that flame is an annoying body that i can't pop with this hand you know two mordocks ah <sighs> man oh man oh man if i hit him twice that brings him up to seven from the mastered arms here is that worth hell if i know i think it's better than him leaving that on the board I think I gotta just use this. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I fucked it up. Freddy had five from the Master Arms. Yeah, no, I fucked this. All right, well, that's gonna be all, folks. That's a great way to end off this ranked with red here, losing to a dumb bum rush aggro because our hand was two Mordocks in the open. Ah, <sighs> frustrating, 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 but it is what it is. Uh, we did go three and two on the day. 3247, not the worst. Uh, could be better, but, you know, literally when you're dealing with that stupid shit, then... Eh. Man. Alright, well, as much of a bummer as it is that we have to end it off there, uh, I guess let's just go ahead and close out the video. Right, and with that being said, folks, unfortunately, we're not able to make anything big happen in the close, but hope the video was still enjoyable and nonetheless. And if you did enjoy, be sure to show it by leaving a like on the video. Be sure to share with your friends. Be sure to comment your thoughts on today's games. And of course, subscribe if you're new or haven't done so already to the channel. It is the best way that you can show your support here and help us grow. But folks, with that being said, it's going to do it for me for now. So, until next time, stay gaming.